In this episode, we will be learning how to use the arrow garden to its full potential, and then also taking another version of what I found and adding to it so that you can grow plants in half the time. This setup here is quite uh, nice when you do buy arrow garden. Uh, this pod here has already everything, including the seed in it with the little plastic cap that covers once you drop them into the um, reservoir. So I'm gonna walk you through on doing this the regular way, and then we're gonna take it up one notch and show you how this grows and progresses as, uh, as we move. So today is gonna be counted as day one, and I'll walk you through the process of getting the entire arrow garden set up and prove to you how and what a wonderful method this is on getting seeds started even if you don't continue to use the arrow garden after you've started it okay so we're going to get started this is the regular method that i'm going to show you um, and then we'll take it up a notch and uh, hack it so the arrow garden produces even much more um, better produce in half the time. So our steps are posted here, uh, what we're going to grow. So we picked uh, tomatoes, so that's going to be the test here. And uh, we're going to add four and three quarters of water and that's going to go into the base here. The base will hold the water and uh, we'll drop the pods in after. And then uh, one cap of fertilizer that uh, comes in the uh, Aero Garden pack, and then we'll turn the system on, and then uh, we'll take it one notch up, and uh, we'll hack the whole system and show you how to do uh, the entire grow operation in half the time. Okay, so I'm going to open this Aero Garden and show you originally what comes in here. So in this box, there's up to six tomato pods. Uh, we're not going to use the six because our system is only a three. And then it also comes with a whole bunch of plastic caps to lock in the humidity while it's uh, dropped into the system. It comes with a little container, as you can tell, all the instructions on here. I wrote on here that uh, this bottle, um, well, I shouldn't say bottle, it's the cap. The cap makes four and three fourth cup of a solution. It's not written on here. They just give you instructions if you want to water um, using this formula with household plants and whatnot. So I always like to break it all down and dumb it right down to everything. I want to understand what goes in and how it all functions so that if I do want to make a solution on the side here, in uh, further videos, I'm going to show you the more amazing hack, hacks you can do so that you can grow amazing plants. I'm going to put all this stuff to the side here. And uh, what we're going to do is dump a cap full into the reserve, reservoir amount. I pre-measured uh, four and three quarters of a cup already into this bowl and then uh, what I'm going to do is mix up the fertilizer. So we don't do this, we can throw that in the sink and then uh, once the fertilizer is mixed in there and all it's going to be is one cap filled and I'm going to dump it into the reservoir. So I'm going to put the camera down because this has a silver top to it once you open it up to do this. So I'll be right back. So I have one cap full of liquid plant food that I uh, filled up and um, I'm ready to throw it into the water here and move this out of the way. There. I like to give it a little bit of a rinse every time so I don't have gunk in there. And we'll just mix this up. I like to pre-mix it because once you have it all mixed up, you don't expect the machine to just bubble. Because it has a little bubbler built in there. 
and that little bubbler is just gonna really uh, slowly mix it. But I prefer having it pre-mixed so that when you do drop the pods in and everything, it's fully dissolved properly. So now we're gonna dump the, uh, the water, it's fertilized into the base here. here carefully okay and once that's put on there you always got to check the the level here and make sure you have the correct level so it looks like I'm a little bit just down below so what I'm gonna do is just grab some tap water here Fill it up a little bit more here. Uh, let's just take a look here where the water level is perfect. So, divider here in the front. And what this does is it uh, oxygenates the water but doesn't let the roots um, go directly into the bubbler. So, this, this prevents the roots from really moving that way, which is nice. So the bottom has to be um, where the oxygen will go through, but that's not the right way to put it in. It's something like that. There's only one way to put it in, otherwise it won't stay. Okay, so once that's uh, all ready to go, the water level's good. I uh, put the top on, and we just literally grab the pod. And what I like to do is make sure that there is uh, seeds in here. So if there is a seed that fell out or whatnot, um, grab one that has it. See that one? That one's got a seed. So I'm going to drop this into here. That's all it takes. Find another one here. Make sure that there's a seed. Uh, I see it in there. So we're good. Sometimes the seeds fall out of the uh, arrow gardens pods and you'll find them in the box so it's just a word of caution to always look make sure it's not all falling out and there it is seeds are in there so drop that in once that's uh, dropped in let's put that three back in there and all I need is three caps Cap the, uh, the top just like that. I just gently pop them on. And this pretty much during growing locks in that humidity so that the plant uh, sprouts and has the uh, high humidity content to grow. After this process, we uh, plug in the system. And uh, when you plug it in, you want to do a full reset on the button. And what that full reset is technically, um, it notifies you after two weeks to put another cap full of fertilizer in the system. So I have been using this. I've already harvested from the system. I'm starting all uh, fresh and new to educate you on what you can do to grow things in half the time to full height in the system and get to the flowering and the fruiting stage in half the time. So in order to reset, I believe it's 10 seconds. I just hold it down till the whole thing flashes. Now it's reset. So this will be on for a certain amount of time from this point and it'll shut off by itself and cycle over and over. 
so it has a it has a memory on timing so it has a built-in timer you don't need to worry about anything after this stage other than putting a cap full every two weeks but you'll see that in two weeks what this system is going to look like and now to the exciting part where I give it a, a hacked version of what I've been doing and now the exciting part um, the hacked version is putting this system into a greenhouse now this system here obviously will be humid until those little seeds get to a little tiny uh, height as you can see my finger here you know you got about two fingers width of a height once you see the little uh, shoots or sprouts coming up you got to take that cap off otherwise it will suffocate and stop from growing the option of clicking the, the light as it grows higher and higher see how it gives you a nice height here it does max out after a while because the plants only grow uh, so big before they fall over but you need to prune them obviously to keep them in shape so I'm gonna put this all into the greenhouse so this greenhouse particularly I purchased from IKEA it's a nice little system doing things with one hand is very tough so I'm just gonna take the top the top off lift it off and put the base just in case you are wondering uh, what this product IKEA name is uh, I still have the sticker on here it's the uh, soccer 20529 code on it so if anyone wants to replicate what I'm doing here this is the way to do it so I'm gonna put the camera down just for a second here and uh, I'm gonna lift that whole unit without water going anywhere onto this flat uh, bottom of the greenhouse and then I'll resume from there okay so lifting it on here putting it nicely in greenhouse is holding that entire hydroponic system and this is where the hacked portion comes in because once the system starts to grow it's gonna stay humid there for a long time before I have to uh, go to step number two okay so what I usually do is since this is always sitting in the kitchen here, I push this on the kitchen counter and it's always a pleasure to watch grow tomatoes and whatever pod you do decide to stick into this unit. And they do grow fast, especially in this uh, setup here with the greenhouse. The other things I uh, sometimes like to add in this greenhouse uh, are other little plants that I like to keep and uh, what I do is I uh, open, open it up. I'll bring it back out here and add these little other plants so you get to see that you can utilize the greenhouse to its full potential. I started these uh, dragon fruits from seed and uh, in the greenhouse it just grew real fast and I haven't transplanted it yet because they just seem to be doing really good in there there's another one just seem to be very happy little plants and then uh, African violet I took a clipping and uh, there's like so many little babies in here that are growing. So walk up the greenhouse and push it here in the corner and there you go. So that's basically uh, everything in a nutshell. Uh, getting the seeds uh, 
headache before he started. Just drop everything in and forget about it. Literally, it's a two week, just leave me alone type of thing. But as today's December uh, 10th, I will let you know and show you in the next video just how quickly these little guys sprout and how fast we can get this, this whole system to the flowering stage. And uh, you'll see how quickly within weeks tomatoes are going to start uh, growing. If you've enjoyed this episode of Hacking the Arrow Garden, I encourage you to please hit the like and subscribe button. There's going to be much more videos coming on this channel. It's a new channel, so I'm really hoping that uh, you guys really like the time I spent to educate you and bring uh, something to the table for you guys so that you can enjoy having fruits grow right at home any time of the year, summer or winter, doesn't matter, all year round. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.